What's going on guys, the Gaming Ram here, and welcome back to American Truck Simulator, and today, as you can see, we're sitting in a Peterbilt 352 cab over, we got this thing as low as we can get it, it's scratched, the frame has been scratched it a couple of inches, and we also got a, uh, a flatbed trailer to go with it, because the color matched it, uh, I got this truck for a pretty good price, and I had to get it. And it's it sits really nice here at the house. So up here at the house in uh, Fort Collins, this truck looks nice up here. So I'm going inside the interior. I'm gonna show you guys it. So this is the interior of the truck. Really nice. It has some nice uh, wood grain around here a little bit. Uh, a nice custom steering wheel. Uh, I will have a link in the description if you guys want to check it out and read it for yourselves. But let's start this bad boy up in the uh, in the old. 89V. We go. It sounds really nice. Great sounding truck. Now, for what I have uh, figured out with this truck is that it does not have sounds. So if you hit the brakes, there's no sounds. You hit the parking brake. No sound, no turn signal sounds. Uh, it doesn't have any air brake sounds at all. Uh, but you do get an engine sound. I'm in reverse. I'm in reverse still. Now I'm in forward here. But it does sound really good. I believe it sounds good. I'm going to crank it up a little bit so you guys can hear it. All right, so we're going to take the skateboard into town. We're going to get loaded. Oh, we don't have a GPS in this truck. I forgot about that. I'm going to have to have this up. All right, let's go and get a load. Leaving the house. You got to get used to driving a cab over the mirrors. You know what? Let me change my seat and just adjustments. Alright, so we had to ingest the uh, seat because if you push the seat all the way back, there's a weird and floating uh, thing. So I had to bring it back. But let's get off on this road, making a left. The windshield is tinted, so. You will notice a difference when you look out the windshield. If I go outside, there is a difference because the windshield is slightly tinted. I love the sound of uh, I got a frame drop, but the sound of an 89V sounds really good. gauges now oh my god this seat position is terrible you know what we're not going to be able to see the uh blinkers it doesn't matter whatever we're going straight through so is the 89V so the Jake brake is a lot different than the other ones is a little bit quieter I 
shots, I guess, in town. Uh, I could probably ingest it a little bit. Let me be back. Come on, Pete! Okay, give me... Bro, Pete! Bro, what you doing? Jesus, man! I got the right away. Not you. Alright, right here. This is where we're picking up at. I think. I hope so, because I can't see. We're doing this old school. We're gonna look at the map. Just look at the map. Okay, here we go. Uh, Cargo market. There we go. Iron pipes, 53,000 pounds, Fort Collins to Denver, Colorado. That's where we're going. Alright, let's, uh, where you going to load me at? I guess you're in the back, right? Can we fit in the gate? I don't know if we can. We should. I can't see that mirror. Cab over life. But if it looks cool going down the road, who cares? Alright. First load with the cab over. It should be interesting. Good thing about a cab over is you got a lot better turning radius than a than a conventional truck. So it helps you out a lot. Alright, we're good on the right. Yep, we're good on the right. Alright, we gotta pull up. That will do it. is a little blurry but I can see what I'm doing a little bit oh we just hit the door that will wake up the mechanic all right we're here we're about to get loaded first load here we go right. shut her down all right man let's get loaded all right 1007. We are loaded with our iron pipes. So we're about to head to Denver. We are looking good. This truck got traction control? I didn't know that. Fire up! And then we're good to go. Pull those parking brakes in. Alright, here we go. Denver, here we come. Denver. If now the problem is getting out of here, that's the next challenge. But, the good thing is this, like I say, this is a cab over, so we got a lot more turning radius than a long nose truck. I need to know where we're going, so I mean, I'm going to have to plan my trip, so let me go and plan my trip real quick. So, let's go into the map. We're going to plan this trip out real quick. So, we're heading out this way. We're going to take this road. Uh, we're going to take uh, Interstate 25 South, and then we're going to take... It all the way down to Denver to and then we're going to take that's interstate 70 and I believe that would be east right that's east and then we're going to take 70 east and then we're going to take this little road here that's going to take us to Denver all right you guys see the trip I see the truck. We done memorize my truck and here we go follow the road and we shall be Gucci and on the road shall we go and I probably hold on let me turn that phone off I should probably look to see you know what this is a one way so you, it's, there, it's there only one way to get out of here that's right alright here we go no traffic I hope not because I'm not looking oh we're going to have to take the sidewalk a little bit to get out alright here we go she's heavy a little bit now the 89 or the yeah the 89v it loves the high rev it's a high revving engine so you guys are going to see me hit that mark i'm going to show you that 20 mark a lot and this load is heavy it's 50,000 something pounds so she's a heavy 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 load fort collins city limits can i get in that right lane Now we gotta 
find the interstate, which if I can remember, I think it's up here. I, I hope so, because I honestly don't remember Fort Collins that much, really. Is this the one? Yeah, yes it is. This is the one. This is the one. Sorry about you. I gotta bag up. I didn't plan my trip better. I should have planned it better. Yeah, we're heavy. We're definitely heavy, all right. I can feel it. This truck is heavy. Here at the stop sign. Buddy, you do not have to turn that wide with your little SUV. Same with you. Why are you turning so wide? All right. Jeep, let me go. Even though I probably should have let you go because you're now in the crosswalk a little bit. But I can do it. I can do it. serves me correct, I believe it is the, the, see, it's this one, two, three, I believe it's the fourth building, now, I don't know, it's been a while, but I believe it's the fourth building, I 
I probably should have looked to see what the name of where we're dropping. That would probably help us. Uh, to the airport in Denver. So the airport in Denver. So this is Costco. That's not where we're going. Hey, Mr. Hummer, let me over. You know what? Forget it. I'll just ride this way. Alright, we can get over. <laughs> so it is this one. Denver. That's the one we want. take out the guard shack <laughs> do the windows work in this truck is the question no it don't all right so they want it drop right there at that dock I see it all right Want it and what dock number is that? 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, dock 12, that's where they want it. Alright. We get over here by these dumpsters and we can uh, back it in. Alright, we got more than enough room to back up this thing. Oh, yeah, we got more than enough room. Good on the right. Yeah, we're good. It's a yellow car over there. I gotta watch it. All right, make that trailer turn. Eh, we ain't gonna make it. Let me go up. Just a little bit, cause I, well, I should not have turned the wheel. Get it lined up like that. All right, we're good. Yeah, we're good. Just keep an eye on it. All right. Let's see, make sure we turn it a little bit more. Hard, 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 hard. We ain't gonna make it. Pull up. Yellow car on the right of us, but we're clear on the front. It's good. Good thing they didn't park right here, because we need this area. But if we have to pull up, it will be a problem with that car there. Alright, stop. Let me get this wheel straightened out here. Car at. All right. All right. We're gonna have to pull up to that yellow truck. Good thing we got a cab over. We can do this. All right. Let me straighten this wheel. Get this load. Get this whole rig straightened out here. Oh boy. We're gonna bump die. We're gonna have to bump die to know where I'm at, so I know how much room I got. Alright, alright, there we go. Alright, let's straighten this thing out here, so we gotta pull up uh, between, try it uh, anyway, between these two Fords. Alright. Now, we back it up a little bit. Alright, let me look out over there. Stop. Get this wheel turn. Trying to get that trailer to go over because right now we're right on the line. I mean, even though they're not gonna unload the trailer like this, but you know, you still want to park your trailer perfect. All right, we're gonna straighten up just one more time. We can get over to the right a little bit, not too much. All right, make sure we don't hit that Ford truck right there. All right, here we go. All right, get rid of this marker here so I can see what I'm doing. Good on the right, left side look good. All right, there we go. Stop, straighten this wheel up here. Straight back it, just a little bit. Now just wiggle it in here. All right, we just bump docked right there. I'm gonna pull up just to get because my truck's not straight. The trailer's straight, but the truck's not. So I'm gonna pull up just a little bit. Stop. All right, stop. A little bit more. There we go. Now we got it straight out here. There we go. So let's take a look at that. It is as straight as it can get for the most part. 
they're gonna have to move it anyway because this is a flatbed this is not a drive van so they can't unload it like this but we're gonna drop it let me roll these windows up you can't see them but they're down all right windows are now up gonna shut this thing down and we're gonna unload this trailer And there we go, we drove 103 miles, 3 hours and 49 minutes, and we consumed 29.1 gallons of diesel. We made $44,951. That was a pretty good run, and now the rain's starting to come in here. I'm a sh I haven't showed you guys the marker lights on this truck, so we're going to do a quick walk around here. Nice lighting in this truck, I love it. You could get more lighting. This truck has a lot of customization options. Uh, the Peterbilt logo, as you can see, it lights up too. So, great truck. I'm going to turn on the lights. And then those are the high beams. Great truck. I love it. But, you know, guys, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on that post notification so you know when I post videos again. And anyway, um, the, 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 the description, check the description. This mod will be down there. Uh, if you guys want to check it out, download it for yourselves. Uh, or you can check the Steam Workshop. This this truck is on the Steam Workshop if you guys want to check it out. But anyway, guys, I'm the Gaming Rim, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.